How's it going, everyone? Welcome to episode 15 of The Zero Podcast. We are your hosts, Justin and Lacey Zachman, where we explore life's adventures together. All right, welcome back, you guys. We're at episode 15. Yep, yep, yep. It's exciting. We have a fun topic today, too. Mm-hmm. But let's talk about our candle. Let's let's do that. Okay. That's the priority <laughs> of the show. Focus in, ladies Focus and gentlemen. In. If you're watching. Okay, so Lacey see. surprised <laughs> the business. The business <laughs> this morning with a bag. Uh-huh. And was from Bath and Body Works. Mm-hmm. And it's a f- our first fall candle of the season. It is lit. Now before <laughs> it is lit. <laughs> now before everyone gets such a mom joke. <laughs> now before everyone gets all crazy and it's like summer's still here. I agree. We agree. But let me explain something to you. The last couple of days, we've had a cool front, mm-hmm. and it's been hot here in Idaho. It's been smoky. We've smoky, had fires. Nasty. So it's been so nice. So the, this last couple of days, it's been fall weather. Mm-hmm. Sweater. Sweater weather. Mm-hmm. Sweater, sweater weather. And jeans and hoodies, mm-hmm. and it's, it's just been what it is. And, and so, it's going to go back up to the it's 90s. Go back up. <laughs> this but week. also, you know, we had pumpkin spice lattes Happen. literally all week. We've had pumpkin cream cold brew Mm -hmm. multiple times we talked about in our vlog however the reason why well i mean it's a good excuse but our coffee pot broke and we're waiting for our new one it's a sad sad week in the zachman household it was sad but it wasn't sad because we went to starbucks (laughs) like way too much it was good timing for those drinks to come out i'm not gonna lie but this fall candle smells amazing okay so it's pumpkin apple Mm mm-hmm yeah. So they have another one called Leaves. I love that one as well, but I think this one trumps it. It is just the perfect fall smell. Yeah. Reminds me of, I thought you were going to say trees, like 21 Pilots. Oh, so. yeah. There's one that's called, no, it's not trees, it's leaves. Excuse Le- well, me. You said leaves. No, Did but I? it reminded me of trees. Oh, I see. That's what, yeah. I was like, what? Yeah. Anyway, um, it but so it good. smells really good mm-hmm. and it gets me in the mood. Even though I'm still stuck yes. for summer, chill, but I can, I can get excited for fall, right? I, you can, Justin. Yeah, thank you. You get excited. I need a permission. <laughs> okay. So what's the podcast today? Okay. It's a lighthearted one. It is. And we didn't ask any questions from you guys today. Just just Justin, Zachman, and Lacey today. But it'll be, um, it's kind of, I mean, it's about us. So we're going to share different opinions. Now, as far as like heavy topics, you know, like politics, religion, Justin and I pretty much agree on everything, I would say. So we're not getting into anything like that. It's just very lighthearted stuff that we yeah. don't really see eye to eye on. Can I say one thing? I'm looking at your one nail that's broken. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Here. <laughs> <laughs> I was just li- that came if, up this If you're morning. listening and not watching, um, at least he is pointing. <laughs> she's pointing with her one broken nail. My broken nail. nail. The sorry. rest of them are pretty. They're like sparkly they gold. Uh, yeah. Anyway, thanks for pointing it out. You're welcome. That's what I do. So we're going to talk about just some things we don't see eye to eye on. I don't know if we ever will, but that's the beauty of our relationship. We just have laughed about these things for years yeah. and they're we're going to share not that them with deep. you guys. They're not They're deep. very lighthearted. However, we can get pretty like weird Agitated. about it. Yeah. Yes. So it's like, it's not a pet peeve because we've done a pet peeve right. podcast before. Right. It's a before, little different. But it can, it can definitely, we can walk that line a little bit. Yeah, that it can, it can get that, but because we've been married so long, it's like we don't. It's just whatever. It's we just, don't care. I was gonna say it's just one of those things where I'm like, you know what? I agree to disagree always on these areas. Yeah. I think yeah. Pretty <laughs> because much. I don't think we ever will. So yeah. okay, <laughs> here well, we go. Let's get started yes. on the first one. All right, Lacey, you want to go? Okay, so <laughs> okay, this th- first one. Okay, this one is probably <laughs> I would say one of the most. Well, there's a couple other ones that are kind of the pet peeve line. Yeah. This one is 100% a pet peeve one, okay? And we've talked about this before, mm-hmm. but we had to bring it up again because it just it's just getting out of hand, Lacey. Well, I'm just scared that you guys are going to hate on me with this one because uh, they will. there are a I lot of... I guarantee it. Okay, I'm ready for it. Bring it on in the okay. comments because I understand there's a lot of people that feel strongly about this topic. Well, yeah, because it's there's, there's a right way and there's a wrong way, okay. Lacey. I feel like we've built this up so much <laughs> now that everybody's like, wait, what is it? Okay. It is. No, we have not built this up, Lacey. <laughs> so dumb. The way you roll, you roll the toilet paper. Which way do you put it in? Put it on the toilet paper. Roll. Where, I totally said oh that my bad. Goodness. <laughs> Can you help me out, Justin? How do you put the toilet paper roll on? Thank you. Okay. okay, Lacey, how do you put it on? I don't care. 
I'm like, that's if I put it in and it's thing like ultimately like a, I wish she would just choose a direction. I just but throw B, it on there. I wish she would choose the right direction, <laughs> but at least have a direction. That's the point. It's, it's different every single time. Yeah. So it's like basically the two choices. Would you say like over or under yeah. like for the rule? And you do not, ladies and gentlemen, go under. Okay. That is against the rules. It says that in the Charmin aren't. package. No, it should. <laughs> there should be a how-to video out there somewhere. There, yeah. is, there is. I guarantee it. It's the, yeah. inter- it's the internet. Mm-hmm. But Lacey doesn't care. So I don't half care. The time, I'll just throw it on. And then I'm like, oh, I did it this way this time. Sometimes it's over. Sometimes it's under. I don't care. It's doesn't. It just does not come to my mind. I'm just at least I put it on. You know what I mean? And that can say more <laughs> about you sometimes. Because <laughs> I feel like I'm the only one that changes the toilet paper rolls in the household. I mean, <laughs> the reality is, is you're the last one to use. It. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I know a lot of people are going to be mad at me. I'm sorry. And it's a thing where if I do think about it, if you still is put the it word. on, no, 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 I will put it on over because I know that's the way we're just you asking like you, Lacey. Yes. We're just asking you to think about it. <laughs> we, yeah, you have like a party. With I guarantee you. <laughs> you. OK, team Justin or team Lacey, let us know in the comments. I absolutely below. know you're going to win this. OK, one. well, let's let, I want to see. I want to see how I want to I want the comment. If, okay, he just wants if to you're watching see this on YouTube, against you. even if you're not watching this on YouTube and you're watching it on, on Apple listening. or Spotify, thank mm-hmm. you for li- listening to that. Go over on YouTube later and put your either team Justin or team Lacey in the comments. And I just want to see it light up. Just say team Jay-Z. Team Jay-Z. It's really short. Yeah. Because I already know you're going to win. Or just or just I'm go there, or do this. T-J-Z. Even easier. Team Jay-Z. TJZ. Or you can see Team LZ because people are I mean, just like, whatever, Justin. There might be a couple people that are team. I don't know who those people are. I'm married to one, so I guess. <laughs> but I'm just saying, I don't know. I, I guess I'm gen- I guess I'm curious. Maybe I'm off. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm just... I maybe l- maybe it's me. Maybe I'm the problem. You pr- maybe I need to look in the mirror and be like, you're the freaking problem. I just live in just this like, you know, the in-between. I'm just like, whatever. We can do it this way. We can do it that way. It's not a big deal. It's toilet paper. Move on. Okay. Let's, <laughs> shall, we, we probably, shall we talk to them about the next one? Yeah, they probably should move on. So <laughs> let us know um, what you guys think about that one. I'm actually I'm actually curious. Is there more people out there like Lacey? Or is everyone like, Lacey, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? If, this okay. Is, this is Here's a, the thing. Lacey. If I you, did have an opinion on this... And I was like, it has to be this way. And how is that? It's not going to change my life. It's not a big deal. It's I, like, why I do I have to have actually, an opinion about I'm it? I'm pretty sure it will enrich your life, to be honest. I okay. think there's things you're missing out on. Am I? Because it's such a, I don't know. You, you do you guys have like a club I'm not aware of? I mean. <laughs> the o- toilet paper over club. Yeah. <laughs> what do you call yourselves? <laughs> the toilet paper That's, roll club. I don't know. It's just the, there's just a right way and a wrong way. Got it. And you clearly have the wrong way. So. I don't have the wrong way. I just don't have an opinion on it. I don't care. This podcast is different opinions and Lacey already has no, <laughs> no opinion. opinion. So I don't know what we're doing with this podcast. <laughs> I don't either. Okay. Let's moving, move on. Moving on. Okay. Um, okay. The temperature in the house. Oh boy. I don't know what we're going to talk about here. Okay. Because I guess this is a, another pet peeve. This isn't it's, a pet it's peeve. Not really, this is it's just our opinions are completely different yeah. because... Your body temperature and mine, and this is why I said at the beginning, I think this is just one till me and you are gray and old that we're just still like never going to agree. Never. Because I'm always cold and you're just always hot. And in the summer, like I am frozen inside our house with how cold the AC is blowing on my body. Okay, I, we got a comment a while back um, about this very thing. So we vlogged about this, and a lot of people are like, "Man, how how can you afford your AC bill?" <laughs> right. And I, I want to say it's not that cold. <laughs> like, goodness gracious, um, it, it's not. It's, cold. it's not like that that intense. Lacey likes to keep it up like around seventy five, which is no, disgusting. I don't. Okay, what do you do? What what's your what's your in so, the summer? In okay, the let, summer, let's talk about this. It's a hundred degrees outside. Mm-hmm. Where's where where's they're between the 71 71 72 okay that's ridiculous like what do you do what do you have it at i'll hit that around 69 68 i mean that's pretty expensive it is i mean so they are right sue with me that. sue me <laughs> like i am gladly paying that electrical bill 
okay. gladly. Okay. Because I'm comfortable in the house. But here's the thing, guys. In the winter, I don't care how much it costs. I'm freezing. I will turn the heat up. So that's the part where I guess this I'm a is, little bit hypocritical. Well, we've actually <laughs> talked about this, though, because we are, you know, where like for me, for ex- for me, especially, I'm really trying to get back into like a certain weight. My health has been a priority. And part of that is sleeping. Mm-hmm. I can't sleep when it's hot. Yeah, that is when true. I'm sweating. That's number one. That's disgusting. But number mm-hmm. two, it's like I can't do it. Yeah. And um, and it's healthier for you to bundle up and be a little bit cold when mm-hmm. you're sleeping. Yeah. And you don't want to believe that. But I think you know it's legitimate, feet but our icicles, and you can attest to that. <laughs> then maybe just get an electric blanket on your side of the bed. I don't want an electric blanket in the summer. I'll get it out in the winter. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh all i know is that there's been some like i will t- i will literally have i have a sleep mode on a thermostat we have like a what is it i forget an eco b or something like that yeah anyway i have a sleep mode so when it gets a certain time it drops. it drops and then Lacey goes over and i see her from the <laughs> kitchen sneaking over there i feel and just, like, like a child pumping it up i'm like no <laughs> because the other it's day <laughs> bedtime keep it out my sleep mode and the other day i was in the hallway and I'm like one like this, uh, if you can see me, I'm like about to touch the thermostat and I hear Justin go, what are you doing? And I like froze. It scared me so bad. Well, what's funny? And I'm like, I'm honestly, I'm not, I'm turning it down because I was actually hot. And he's like, okay. I was like, oh my gosh. Well, what's funny? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> what's funny is you're doing that and I'm like with my phone because you can control on your phone and she's putting it down. I'm just popping right back up when she's done. It's so it's a constant ongoing, battle. Guys. But it's not like we're fighting about it. Like it's not like a thing where it's like th- th- no. all these are just they're fun. Like yeah. we just banter back and forth. Right. But we we talk about this on the daily though. Mm-hmm. Especially in the summer. The winter. I feel like we're we kind of agree more in the winter. Mm-hmm. Um, I yeah. think things kind of kind of even out a little right. bit with that because I don't know. It's just what it is. But the summer especially, because especially in Idaho, it ranges so much. I think that's the problem. I was actually just talking about this with my friend this morning on a run. We're saying like how it could be like 50 degrees in the morning mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden it get, pops up to like 90 to 100. Yeah. In Idaho, it's, it, this is a huge range. Right. And so I think that's the problem is that if it wasn't like that, I don't think we would have this no. like banter back and, and forth. And we are but. in that season. I remember teaching last time, like last year, I was always in the morning during the, during this time bundling up like I even turn the heater on sometimes in my car and then after school I get in my car and I'm like taking off my car again turning on the AC it's just it's just that time right now. I think another thing of why it's I think especially different this summer than previous summers Mm -hmm. because if you notice it's it's a lot different this summer of Mm -hmm. us like fighting over the thermostat yeah because um I think a lot of it is I've been so hot all the time because my truck does not have AC. That totally makes sense. I didn't even think and about that. And I'm thinking about it now. I'm just yeah. like, that's why I'm always like so hot, hot because when you get home. I'm literally, my shirt is drenched in sweat. My phone, guys, has been overheating just sitting on the, the just the, the, the seat. Dash, or, yeah. No, not the dash. It's like, it's the in seat. a shaded spot in the seat, but it's so hot in the truck I'm sorry. that it's like, no, I feel bad. so I'm overheated <laughs> all the time. I have to bring like, extra shirts yeah. sometimes because it just sweats if i'm going to a meeting or something like that it's just sweat. it's crazy yeah it's that insane is, that i didn't think about that because yeah. this summer you're right it's, it's been, been crazy. way more than and usual. so people are gonna ask well why don't you just fix the ac great question <laughs> it's because there's this guy in our neighborhood who wants to buy my truck for a tractor i think we've talked about this before in a vlog or something in a vlog yeah. i don't know if he's gonna buy it i hope he does because i've been going through this whole summer without ac <laughs> but he just wants it for the engine so I, i'm like why in the world would i fix it because I'm, I'm upgrading a truck here pretty soon mm-hmm. and um and so i'm like i don't want to spend money into it if it's if he's gonna just buy it for the, the right. engine yeah I don't know. I mean, maybe we should have at least got a quote. You know what? We probably should have because <laughs> now poor. I'm worried that he's not going to buy it. He probably won't. And he like went through this whole <laughs> summer just sweating. We'll keep you updated on the vlogs of what happened here. We're actually going to go look at a, a truck tonight. Oh, yeah. We're going to test, test driving drive. trucks. Are you excited about that? I really am. I, I thought I, about this morning. I'm like, if it just isn't so excited, in my to brain, test drive a truck. In my brain, I'm like, what if I just buy it? But I don't really want this certain truck I'm looking at. I just want to test drive this model. There's specific color and stuff that I want. You never you know. know. What if you're just... I know. This is the one. I know, but the one I Marv. really want a different color. <laughs> I can always paint Justin's it. Justin's weird about his colors, yeah. so, I, so I, I will and it's funny to because that. you guys are like, well, what color? Black. I just want a black. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so dumb. Surprise. <laughs> Surprise. This uh, one is a cool looking blue. Yeah. 
But anyway, okay, enough of that. Okay. Next up, staying up late. Mm-hmm. Okay, another one that we have different opinions on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I can stay up very late. I would argue. I don't understand how you can function and how late you stay up. I don't know. It's a God gave me the gift. It I don't know. Gift I don't have. know what to say. Because I am not a nice person if I do not get a good sleep. No. And if I go to bed too late, she really is I'm wrecked. <laughs> I, just, I need my sleep. This is the thing. I would argue to say that I'm actually more creative and, and, I, and I, um, I'm more productive the later it gets. I, can, I totally agree with that. I've seen you. The li- so I would say like there's, there's hours in the day where I'm like very productive. Mm-hmm. And I would say it's before lunch. I would say between like maybe like 9 to 12 on my sweet spot of production. Um, and then after that, I still work. I'm still pretty productive. But when it gets past 8 o'clock at night, maybe 9 o'clock, mm-hmm. maybe in the double digits, it's just I can be so productive. And mm-hmm. I have to be careful because I can really screw up my next day by not mm-hmm. getting enough sleep. I mean, I still can function on a few hours. But yeah, you can. I'm trying to prioritize my health, trying to sleep more. There's so much. We all know there's a lot of benefits to sleep. Mm-hmm. So I'm trying not to live that life. But I love it a lot. Yeah. Well, it's a good thing you're built that way because the amount of summer camps and winter camps and like youth events and mission trips you do and you get no sleep, yeah. like you can keep going. I don't understand it. I don't know. Well, even editing videos, sometimes yeah. we can't get to a video during the day. So we're like, I'm up late. He's up editing. late. So. And it's kind of nice because everyone's sleeping. So it's like I can still, I'm, I'm working. When, right. I'm working when people are sleeping kind of the thing. Yeah. You know. Me, like, however, when it hits a certain time. Like, I feel bad sometimes because I don't even say goodnight because I'm just so, my words, it's like they're gone and I don't mean to be rude, but like Cass and Justin and I will like watch a movie and if it's like past midnight, I'm like, I just get up and I go right to bed. I do, don't I? I don't say yeah. anything. Well, no, this I'm is, like, this, I'm okay. almost like, I think this is why already we put this on here, mind. why it's like a, 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 a an unpopular opinion. <laughs> Because it's it's about the movie situation. Let's talk about that. Okay, it's kind of like an off set. So okay. we don't we don't agree on bedtimes. Um, I really try to <laughs> go. To, I really try. Bedtimes. I really try. I've been really doing a lot better about going to bed when you go to bed. Yeah, true. Just because I've been trying and to. And you were like reading sleep. the other night in yeah. bed, which was really been cool. really trying like, to do that yeah, more. Yeah, just all being that. like winding down that yeah. way. Yeah, yeah, and it's been good. Mm-hmm. You know, but um, I think the the biggest issue here is when we watch a movie, we are in like just like the the best part of the movie. <laughs> And we're like getting into it. The character development has already been, uh, you know, it's just, it's moving. And Lacey's like, just gets up, puts the recliner <laughs> down, gets up and just goes to bed. And I'm just like, I look at her and I look at Cassie. I'm like, um, I guess we're going to bed. <laughs> you know, it's like, I'm so tired. <laughs> can we just I finish just this like, movie? No, because I've already missed half of it. Cause oh, I man. fell asleep at the beginning. I, I honestly, I will. And I'll fall asleep in the movie theaters too, you guys. It's yeah. bad. So I've gotten a little better now that I'm not getting up as early as I did like with teaching before. I honestly was in bed at 9, 9.30. Like during my teaching days, I'd have yeah. the kids to bed. And then I was like, now I am going to bed. I do stay up a little bit later now. I'm getting better, not like falling well, asleep in all the movies. We are, but we are trying to find like a better night routine. And we're going to vlog about it once we kind of figure this out but i think a lot of it has to do with us getting to bed around that nine o'clock yeah not falling asleep like reading or mm-hmm. that kind yeah. of stuff but. but i do love mornings and i honestly it's weird but i look forward to just the morning time it's my favorite i do too part of the day yeah. i don't like nights i'm just like <laughs> i like them both i just want to be in bed right now that's the thing like if I, I don't even like going out at night it sounds awful to me yes yeah, so yeah i don't <laughs> understand that like when we went to the concert my, last weekend, I was just like, oh my gosh, it's so late. <laughs> my favorite thing is knowing that in and out Burger uh, doesn't close till 2 in the morning. Oh, man. Just knowing that. It just warms com- your soul. comforts me. You, you, know? you do love knowing just that. Just knowing that. If, if Your it, options are open. Like, my favorite things are um, like premieres of movies when they come out at like midnight Ugh. on Thursday nights. I love that. I hate I hated those days. I love it. Yeah. She doesn't go with me anymore. I go with I my buddies. To, but, I know. I'm like, can you do um, with your friends? But anyway, I, I don't know. I, I really am trying to get more sleep because I can, I can function on three to four hours. I really can. can. I don't and, get it. And it's not like I'm tired. I can I can go through an entire 15-hour day. Mm-hmm. But it's it's just not healthy. I'm not recovering from my no. workouts. I'm not, you know, right. there's a lot of health issues with that. And so I'm really trying to prioritize it. Even though I can 
Is it right? Mm-hmm. No. So, you know. Yeah. I'm trying to find a balance. Right. But I do love the late night hour, mm-hmm. but I love the morning hour too. But like today, like- got up at six, went for a run, and it yeah. was like folly weather. And I was coming back home from the run, the sprinklers turned on. And it was like crisp, mm, I the know. birds, the sunrise. See, I, isn't that beautiful? I love it. I was yeah. up this morning too doing my workout and um, it was just, when I got done, I walked out. I was like, oh, it's And you went to the sauna morning. today too, right? That was my workout. <laughs> 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 hey, it's not a sauna. It's a, what's the word? It's a sauna. Okay. But it's like they have like a red light therapy well, and it's, all this yeah, stuff I in mean, it. But it's, I'm infrared. Yeah. yeah. But anyways, I'm like sweating when I get out of there. So it's Lacey has a membership out. to um it's, it's called Spire. Perspire. It's literally just an infrared sauna. No. It is working out. I mean well, like you're even, in there for forty five minutes, right? Yeah. And like forty. But okay. I was talking to the girl that <laughs> worked there and she was <laughs> 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 And I was like, um, because honestly, there's a lot of people there. Um, you know, we just talk and they're like, oh, man, I wish I could go the full 40 minutes. And one person's like, I made it 30 today. They're like, good job. Because it's so hard. Oh, wow. People don't finish? No. No. Do you finish? Mm-mm, I can't do 40. Really? No. I have to crack the door. Oh, wow. I'm dying. I, I had mean, a membership. I'm sweating Actually, so bad. do I still have my membership? <laughs> oh, boy. I should look on that. <laughs> I haven't gone for a little bit. I do want to get back in there. Yeah. It's kind of for me. It's a winter thing because the summer I'm so hot. Yeah. So, <laughs> but it was good about? this morning because it was. But cooler. I think I'll probably right. maybe restart it in yeah. the winter. Anyway. Okay. But because we don't get a lot of sun in the winter mm-hmm. in Idaho. Yeah, that's so why it, I it started nice it because it was so gloomy. Yeah. Anyway, um, but yeah, I, I'm surprised no. people don't finish it. A lot of people don't. Even the yeah the because you can the turn it down. There. You don't have it all the way hot. Yeah, that's what I, I usually do. I mean, it does do. get hot yeah. no matter what. But. but some people, they can't get their body temperature down and they're like, I can only do yeah. 30 minutes. I think for whatever. me, it's like I have like such like this to-do list mindset mm-hmm. where it's like so competitive. Where like, I'm going to do this thing. Yeah. You know, and I think yeah. that's what happens with me. Yeah, I can only do 30 minutes I'm like minutes counting down today. the timer. I'm like, I'm going to do this. I don't know. <laughs> Was that your Batman voice? I'm Batman. No, because sometimes when I go in there, it's already really, really hot. Like they had it set up really hot today. So I could only do 30 minutes. Mm. As much as I turned it down, I was like, yeah, I can't anymore. Anyways, okay. moving on. Okay. This next topic, we will just touch on. Let's just slightly touch on that because I think we've talked about it before. But it's one of those things we still very different opinions on. And that mm-hmm. is when we decorate for Christmas and when we watch Christmas movies. <laughs> Um, oh, so we have are those two points, or are we just going to combine? I them? think that would be. Combining. I think I think they're two different points. These are two completely different things in my book. They are not at different, all different opinions. <laughs> <laughs> just going to say that to me about everything now. Okay, so okay, let's start with the first one. When do see, we decorate for Christmas? They are different points. Okay, mm. we decorate for <laughs> Christmas. Um, in November, mm-hmm. the first week of November. If so, it was up to like just you, would you still do that though? Or is that because we've compromised? Because um, I feel like you've asked me before. Earlier. Oh, yeah. I mean, no, I, I, I would say like November 1. Like, I, I mean, when, we used to do it when <laughs> Disneyland put their decorations yeah, up. We, we would put our decorations up, which is like November 1. It is. So I would 100% do that. And, 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 and there's going to be people on here. That are going to have their opinions, and that's fine. <laughs> this is the thing we talk about every year. But how can you put up decorations before Thanksgiving? Yeah. For me, that's part of Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. The Christmas tree up is part of it for me. Now, we don't go ham. We have, we, there's not, we don't go all out for November. Mm-hmm. Like, we, we don't put the outside lights on until after Thanksgiving. Right. Like, we put them on. <laughs> we don't turn them on. <laughs> because the weather's good. The neighbors look at me because I'm putting up lights pretty early mm-hmm. but it's because i'm like dude i'm not gonna be up here when it's a blizzard no have fun doing that yeah and so lately i'd say i mean i'd say it's pretty much our tradition now we decorate for christmas or uh, sometimes on or around landon's birthday because he loves doing it which is november 6th yeah he if does it was, doing it. it's funny he's so funny if it was up to me i honestly would not do it until the day after thanksgiving yeah yeah but well, we've, compromised we've compromised with, with okay, we, we'll, we'll put up like... After Landon's birthday or on. Well, yeah, we try to do... Well, we, Landon really want, he really wants to do it on his birthday, but we're like, hey, let's just <laughs> enjoy your birthday and we'll do it the weekend that follows. Right. Like, kind of a thing. But, but um, he loves Christmas, He loves Christmas. Yeah. I wonder why. 
And it's kind of a tradition for him because he knows it's his birthday. And he's also like, oh my gosh, it's, we get to decorate Christmas this, you know, this mm-hmm. week. So but. it's just one of those things we compromised on because I honestly, I by Christmas, like the day after Christmas, I'm like, okay, can we please put this away? Like I, I do yeah. Not so like we're it not, we're not long. really, a, we're not people <laughs> who. Um, <laughs> can you finish your sentence? <laughs> we're, not. we're not people who keep their decorations up through the New Year's. No. Um, right after Christmas is done, we're over. Like mm-hmm. I'm done. Partly because I'm sad. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> it's over. But um, it, it it feels good to kind of fresh, get ready for the new year. Yeah. And for the new year, I want to, I want to reset. Like house is clean. You know, we clean the house. Yeah. We kind of like we usually buy a new piece of furniture or something like that. Like, yeah. If it's a small like coffee table or something, change something up. Change something up. You know. And so we're we're kind of in that mode now. Yeah. But um, but the reason why like with Christmas, it's so. If you think about it, if you start decorating after Thanksgiving, you only have them up for a little... Decorations are only up for well, a little bit. Well, here's the thing. If we... Could, wait, okay, let, let me rephrase this. Okay. Time. Okay. If you decorate for Christmas the day after Thanksgiving, mm-hmm. I think you have a good amount of time. Yes. But what tends to happen, and this happened to us before, mm-hmm. we run out of time. Things get busy, and all of a sudden another week goes by. Another week goes by and all mm-hmm. of a sudden you haven't decorated for Christmas. Has anyone been in that boat? And all of a sudden you're like two weeks before Christmas <laughs> and the house isn't decorated. Mm-hmm. I think that's my fear. <laughs> oh my gosh. Because when I was growing up, that happened. Yeah. A couple of times. Maybe that's why you're Maybe like it really. Is. So I'm just like, like, I don't want to miss this, guys. Because <laughs> you were like, pretty we, my, like, admin about we it. We always decorate for Christmas. Don't get me wrong. But I mean, like, it was just like, I was so big into Christmas. And I'm yeah. like, another week's passed, you know? Yeah. Because we, we used to be a family that was like the day after Thanksgiving. Yes. Yeah, so were we. But there was and times I, when that happened where yeah. it would, it wouldn't be right after because right. something happened and yeah. got pushed a few days and a few days. and Yeah. And if mom and dad are busy, it's like, what are you going to do? do? You're like, I can't get the tree down by myself. Like, I no, need you do. guys. We got to do this together. Um, so yeah. Maybe that's my, my reasoning. Maybe. It's because I just want to, I'm like, we have time. Mm-hmm. We're in the season. Let's just do it. Okay. So moving on. What is your reason with Christmas movies though? Because I think it ruins a Christmas movie. When you don't watch it during the actual Christmas season. And so when, when would, I when would you start that? When I come home and I see Justin and the boys watching Home Alone the Home Alone on the couch in July, this happened. I'm like, what are you doing We're watching to our family? It's Christmas it's Christmas <laughs> in July. I don't know what you want from me. Okay, I'm just saying it doesn't fit the mood. No, we do that every year. At all. Me and the boys, every July we watch Home Alone. Okay. It's Christmas in July. But We're then getting prepared you're for like, it. It's almost like a gateway. You're like, now let's watch this no, we one. Don't. Then let's do yeah. this we one. Have, we have discipline. I don't think you realize <laughs> okay. that. We do have discipline. Okay. Okay. So we watch one, Home Alone, mm-hmm. maybe two. Okay. Uh, either one or two. Mm-hmm. And it's, we call it Christmas in July. We celebrate it. Okay. Get some candy canes. Call it a day. <laughs> okay. Outside of July, when do you think is the appropriate time to watch Christmas movies? Uh, November 1. Okay. I don't agree with that at all. Either. When do you want to start? After Thanksgiving. There are so many Christmas movies, though. Like, how do you get them all done? You have, like, a whole month. No. Yeah, but how? You have all the shopping, all the festivities, okay. all the parties. I would say the week of Thanksgiving, like Thanksgiving break for the kids from school. Okay, so I say... Let's do it then. You get the classics and whatever that means to you. We all have, like, those nostalgic... Your favorite Christmas ones. Movies. Yeah. Those ones, you start hidden after Thanksgiving. Okay. But then you have the ones that you're like... It's still the vibe, mm-hmm. and you want to watch them, yeah. but they're not like the classics. Okay. Start those November 1. Mm. That's my. That's where I go. Okay. Again, yeah. agree to disagree. Agree to disagree. <laughs> all right. So you start watching all your Hallmark stuff? <laughs> yeah, after Thanksgiving or the week of Thanksgiving. But, like, I'm still all about watching some Thanksgiving movies, and there's only a couple out there. Planes, trains, and automobiles. And that's one of them. Mm-hmm. That's one of them. Is that the only one? What other good Thanksgiving movies are out there? I don't know. There's not a lot. Oh, um, uh, the uh, Meg Ryan and Tom Hanks. Oh. You got mail. Yeah, I mean, it's ish. Ish. It's in fall. Yeah. I think it's a cool one. Yeah. We usually watch that one too. And it makes me want to go to New York every single time. I know, right? Anyway, let us know if you know any more Thanksgiving movies so we can start that so Lacey doesn't get all <laughs> frustrated with me. Okay. <laughs> so, Justin and I like to travel. We can agree on that. We do not agree on how we pack, though, because I'm 
very much ready to go packed prepare like a month maybe sometime is in advance depending on the trip Justin is very last minute and it drives me crazy like he does he procrastinates the packing experience packing. as late as possible and it it's it's taken a toll on <laughs> us <laughs> I've gotten better you, I have you have improved so I think part of it is when we're going on vacation, I'm getting excited. So I at least get my, you know, I love when it's like, it's like, let's get our suitcases down day. Yeah. And it's like a month before. Mm -hmm. And then we have like our, like, let's go shopping spree day mm -hmm. where we just go shopping and get like, which we're going to Shields this time mm -hmm. for our next vacation. Things we need. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll just go and uh, shop and eat dinner and get some last minute things and mm -hmm. just kind of fun. Yeah. So we've done those things that kind of help me start thinking through that. Right. It's almost like you have to be inspired. I do. To pack. And it's mm -hmm. like so frustrating. Pack my suitcase? <laughs> like, can you just please pack your suitcase? Like your laundry is done. And he just like can't get it in the bag for some reason. <laughs> I'm just like. I, don't, I honestly, I don't know. I, I really. <laughs> till the very last minute. I don't minute. know what's happening with that. Even like when I'm going out of the country. Yeah. Like, you know, you should be packing, you know. Mm -hmm. Not last minute on that one. No. And all this stuff. I mean, you know, I don't know. I've done it so. The thing is, we've traveled a lot, so you just know. End of the day. Yeah. Then our like, toiletry bag is already packed. We have our. We have a hole in our studio. If you didn't know, we we have like a whole like um tool chest and the couple drawers of it yeah. is filled with our carry on stuff. So it, you know where everything's at. But just get it together. Get it together, man. Just put it in your suitcase and zip it up. That's I, the part that drives me. There's crazy. a hurdle. I I don't mind it though. But I do because this stuff's everywhere because this is what he does for a month. Oh, I'm going to take this. I'm going to take that. And it's just like everywhere and like piles. And there's just like a pile on top of his suitcase that he got out a month ago. <laughs> you know what I mean? Rock on. It, you it, it's, you I'm, still like that vibe. I do because then I can, I'm thinking through for the month like, oh, this, you know, I'm going to wash this and not wear it mm -hmm. until this or this is a new shirt I'm going to wear here, you know. And yeah. Okay. I, I don't know. I enjoy it. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? At least it's like ready like four months. Like you, you're probably going to be start packing for the Disney treasure. <laughs> I know, right? Well, actually, we have, we're going to Seattle here soon, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. When is that? October. Oh. So you're have, probably already packing have, for that. I have not started packing. <laughs> Little trips, smaller trips. I, I will hold definitely off. pack like an hour before we leave the airport. Oh, you will. I'll probably for get sure. up, go for a run, come back, take a shower, then pack, then go to the airport. Throw in a little laundry in between that. Yeah, easy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Wake up, get some coffee, throw a load in. Yeah. Go for a run, come back, dry it, take a shower, mm -hmm. take it out, put it in the bag, go to the airport. Mm -hmm. While I'm like sitting at the door with my suitcase being like, <laughs> we go, please. This is not that deep. It? We'll figure it out. We'll get there. I know. But I need to be at the airport three hours early. All right. Well, next one is, I think this is kind of a, a one that has been good for both of us to compromise in because mm -hmm. it's stretched us in different ways. Yeah. But it's the whole planning versus being spontaneous. Mm -hmm. So obviously I'm the planner. At least he's the spontaneous one. <laughs> um, Good dad just joke. kidding. But uh, yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, I am very spontaneous, mm -hmm. as you can tell with my packing. Lacey's a big planner. Mm -hmm. Now I think we've we're both we've both learned to be spontaneous and plan. Like I love to plan. Don't get mm -hmm. me wrong. I have lots of plans. Yeah, lots of dreams and things yeah and i can be very spontaneous mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a good time sometimes <laughs> <laughs> i'm a good time sometimes i'm, I'm really fun to hang out honestly with. <laughs> except when you put the toilet paper okay on the wrong the wrong way whatever it's not fun i mean to be that, you. that's my spontaneous <laughs> my spontaneous I, my spontaneous yeah. i'm trying to use that in a different way that's not gonna work that's me being spontaneous you never know what you're going to get. Oh, my gosh. There you go. For example, like I could just like pack up everything right now, go to the airport and go to Disneyland mm -hmm. today. Like easy peasy for and me. And you actually will ask me, I would say monthly on a monthly basis, at least once a month. You're like, do you want to just like go to quickly, like go to Disneyland? I'm like, no, that sounds awful. I honestly, <laughs> one of my bucket lists is to literally do. Not that like, Disneyland sounds awful, but like the spot being like so spontaneous. I would love just to like randomly just, you know, obviously we have responsibilities, all kind of stuff. So you make sure that's, <laughs> that's you know, we, we, we're, we're covered. But clear the calendar one day, just be able to just start working. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden be like, you just want to go to Disney, go pop on, grab a, 
a, a plane ticket and mm-hmm. just go that day. Mm-hmm. Get there, go downtown Disney. Yeah. Go to Disney the next day and then go come back home. Just like a few days. Why not? So you know? many, so many questions and things are going through my mind. So when that's you say that. that's the thing is I can do and that concerns and I am I am free to do that and it'll it, it makes me excited. For her, it scares the crap out of mm-hmm. her. I don't even like to think about that. I'm like, why do you even? Where? Wh- why? What? What sounds good about that? I'm like churros for one. <laughs> Honestly, you know, it's the fact that you can just put your mind there, and I'm thinking about. I don't even know what I'm gonna wear. I mean, obviously, grab a black shirt. Wear- <laughs> Not a big deal. You know, is that why you wear that every day? So you, you don't have to think well, about. Well, I it? mean, honestly, a lot of like, there's been studies about you have so many decisions you have to make in a day. Yes, I've heard that. And sometimes keeping it simple of the decision you're gonna make to of something you're gonna wear. Yes, is healthy. What am I wearing today? You're wearing a black shirt. See, inspired by you. So the less decisions I have to make early in the morning is perfect. Mm-hmm. Black shirt, call it a day. Mm-hmm. I'm wearing a white shirt today, actually, though. Woohoo. So I'm just I'm serious. Getting crazy. Yeah. Anyway, so I think that's the thing is like, that's a different opinion because I, I could just do that. Lacey mm-hmm. couldn't do that. Yeah. And just with any other like things in life, you could just, well, let's just do it. And I'm a little bit like, mm, more hesitant. But I think it's a good balance. It is because between our. Our life. You know, there's, I need to plan more on certain things and you need to be more spontaneous on others. Mm-hmm. But yeah, definitely. I, that's my default. Spontaneous is my default. Mm-hmm. And planning is your default. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, there's been trips though where you're like, we're going to go here. Let's do this. I'm like, yeah, right. And we have. And then I'm like, oh, I'm glad we did that. New York, <laughs> New York was one of them. That was very spontaneous. Yeah. That, I mean, we left in what? A couple of weeks. I think so. That was that was probably one of the more, more spontaneous trips we've taken in a while. And that was one of my favorite trips we've ever done. Yeah, so. we we yeah we did. So what happened is at least I follow your lead. No, you know what it was? We watched You Got Mail. Mm-hmm. We watched You Got Mail, mm-hmm. and we we're watching it. And there was this other cop movie in there in New York. I don't something know like that. But we we're was... watching it, and I looked at Lacey. I'm like, I want to go to New York this fall. Yeah. She's like, It's already fall. I'm like, I know. Mm-hmm. I looked at the calendar. I'm like, We have a window right here. Yeah. And she's like, Seriously? And then yeah. she went to bed, of course. <laughs> and I'm up on my computer. <laughs> it was ten o'clock. And I, and I already booked the plane tickets, booked the hotel, and book our tours. And then and she you woke like, up the next day. I'm like, all right, so we are leaving this date. I already got the, I got everything. Mm-hmm. And She's you like, sold what? me because you're like, we had miles, so it cost yeah, like we, nothing to fly there. Nothing. So I've, he knows how to get to me, and it's always like good. It's deals. always a coupon. <laughs> <laughs> I can get any, I can do anything with a coupon. Lazy, I had a coupon. I can probably buy this, buy this truck today if I found a coupon. I know, right? <laughs> it's five dollars off. So another thing we do not agree on is when we shop. When we go shopping, mm. I'm oh, very yeah. much like I like to shop. Don't get me wrong, and I like to be like, oh, I'm not really know what I need, but I like this. But if I find something I like, I have to be set on it. Like, I'm very big. It'll take me a while to even make some purchases. Like, I'll look into it. I want to know. Like, sometimes I'll, you know, read reviews, make sure people like it, uh, you know. But I also want to make sure, like, this is it. Like, I don't want to return this. I hate making returns. Just, on the other hand, like, no big deal. Just get it. You can always return it. When in doubt, buy it. When in doubt. And it's, like, stresses me because out. Because you can always return it. That's the thing. You can I know, always but return it, and she doesn't want to return it. I hate making returns. I don't know. I will. I mean, I get it. It's part of life. Sometimes things don't work out, but I don't buy it thinking like, so here's a scenario. Oh, it's okay. I can just return it. Here's a scenario. We go, we're online shopping, mm-hmm. okay? And um, I'm not sure what color I want. Probably going to be black. <laughs> but like, yes, you do. I'm not sure. Like so, a style or something. Yeah. For example, I ended up buying a couple of things on American Eagle yesterday. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and um, I needed some some new jeans and whatever. And uh-huh. I didn't know what style I wanted, so I bought three different styles. Mm-hmm. And um, and I'm probably gonna return two of them. Okay, so if it was me, I would buy one, and I'm like, this is gonna be the one. So that's the thing. We're just every time yeah. we shop, it's always. And I want to be way. clear about this. I don't buy stuff and use, use it, it and then no. return it. No, I no, think no, that no. is super shady. Yeah. And um, I I I I honestly I think that's a f- that, that shows character flaw. Yeah. Honestly, um, I think it's a form of theft. I'm just saying. I, I yeah. get really 
irritated when people do that because mm-hmm. um, there's people well, that, and we've both worked in retail yeah and we've seen it and it's so annoying. so i'm talking about the tags are still on we're yeah. good to go i'm not using abusing it and you know taking it you know i'm i'm just i want to know return policy it's like, especially online shopping i'm like i don't have a dressing room yeah so i'm a little bit better when it comes well <laughs> there are times still when i go to h&m or something like that and i don't feel like going to the fitting room yeah. so i will per- over buy and then i'll return yeah and anyway. see, I get it. I get, I mean, I, it's not like a thing where I'm like, I don't understand it. I get where you're coming from. It's just for me, I don't want to waste my time doing that. I'm like, these are going to work out <laughs> and they, I will make them fit. I don't know. I don't know what it is about me. I, I don't just know. don't want to deal yeah, with the process. Thing. I don't understand why. You know what I think it is? I have to force her to buy stuff. I'm like, just buy it and return it. I know, but sometimes I think like, well, what if they don't return it? Like, I don't want to waste my money. I don't know. Who's not going to return it? I don't if you know. Go home, try it on, <laughs> return it a few days later. Yeah. Tags are still on. Yeah. I do this a I lot with know. Amazon. Yeah. Um, you know, with with certain things. Um, because you just don't you don't know the quality sometimes until you buy it's on true. Amazon. Yeah. So sometimes I get it. I'm like, this is a piece of crap. Right. And so I'll return it. You know. Um. You know. Th- you don't know sometimes. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, yeah. I don't know. But yeah, at least he's a hard time returning stuff. It's hilarious to me. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> Different opinion, I guess. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. Our last one. And I feel like we probably have so many more. Maybe we'll do another one if we think of it. But yeah. is we have very different opinions on how we take our coffee. Mm. I yeah. mean, I've tried so hard just to drink black coffee. It's the best. I cannot do it. I can't do it, you guys. But it's it's what coffee is. Justin even had to get me. We're in the studio right now, like a little thing, because, um, like I just I have to have creamer, but like there's the little to go creamers, because he knows if I make something in here, I just I have to have it. I will not drink black coffee. I will go without coffee if I don't have creamer, half and half yeah, something. That, that just makes it's wild. I know, to me. isn't that wild? Yeah. As much as I love coffee. Yeah. I won't do it. Well, I don't know. I I just I mean we can get in a huge opinion on this, but I'm like, do you even like coffee? Yes. If you can't drink coffee black, I don't think that's a thing, Justin. I, that's so rude. But co- so rude. Do you even <laughs> say this to me? It's coffee though. It's I know. not creamer. I know that, you know? but I'm. It's like my creamer's like hardly anything in my coffee i'm not one of those okay. people that my coffee color is like white white it's it's a good tan <laughs> it's just okay no, it it's is a, mainly it, coffee it's a golden brown it Let's is see, it's like a, yeah golden brown yes but I, and I, I used to work at a coffee shop like i i appreciate coffee i well, stop looking at the camera like jim like, mm. <laughs> like i do for you <laughs> i'm looking at my friends okay you're looking at them like you don't no, agree with I, me. They're probably going to agree with me on this one. Okay. I guarantee you there are more people who are uh, very offended that I say, are you even a coffee drinker if you don't yeah. like it black? I'm not saying that. I want to be clear with that. I'm not saying you're you a coffee drinker. That. I'm just saying, though, <laughs> though, I'm just saying that coffee is just coffee. And if you are a true... Uh, Whoa. Take see? That, I'm taking it back. See, it's coming out. <laughs> I am coming I am out. a small coffee not, not snob. <laughs> it comes out randomly different times. Uh-huh. But like I'm just saying, though... Do you like coffee if you can't? Because if you go out of the country, go to Europe. Yeah. They they know Americans like it all spiced up. Yeah. And they're shocked when you just order an espresso shot. And I they're like, know. you just want espresso? Yeah. I've done that in Europe when we were in Romania. And I, because I'm like, I needed my coffee in the morning, but I, they still had like a little milk I put in there. I mean, they can get a, you can get a latte and do that kind of, I mean, it's fine. But I'm just, I, I guess that's the thing. That's the unpopular opinion to mm. me is like. I get there's a lot of drinks, a lot of coffee drinks yeah. that have a lot of cream, sugar. Yeah. I mean, I the all that. Yeah. And you had a PSL this season already. You appreciate it. I love pumpkin spice. That's the only. That's the only thing he'll drink do though. I will do. Like not this, even Christmas drink. Oh, eggnog. I will do, you eggnog, do eggnog latte. Lattes. That's about with it. With extra shots though. Yes. And this pumpkin spice latte, had I had to have shot. extra shots. Exactly. Because yeah. it's too like Dutch Bros. Heck no. I draw the line with Dutch Bros. <laughs> Dutch Bros. No, <laughs> no way. That is not a coffee shop okay, to me. Because they do not even serve they drip coffee. They don't have drip coffee, coffee so I'm like, what are you guys doing here? I don't get that. Okay. Yeah. Like, what are you doing here, Dutch Bros? Sorry, Dutch Bros lovers. Anyway, um, yeah, I, I, I'm, we're probably losing viewers after right <laughs> today. It's just what it is. We love you. Um, 
Don't leave. No, I'm not saying that, guys. I, 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 I'm not saying that because everyone in my life who I love dearly <laughs> usually takes creamer. You're like, I'm still friends with them. Yeah. I'm married to one. <laughs> They're wrong, but I'm... No, this is the thing. I used to have a lot of creamer in my coffee. And it was when I started touring in a band. Mm-hmm. I remember and the time you switched over. I switched because we had dark, to play show after show after <laughs> show. <laughs> and we would drive all night for the next. Yeah. And I got hooked on a quad shot Americano mm-hmm. at Starbucks. And ever since then, like I started taking it yeah. black. And well, I appreciated just the taste of the coffee. I know. And I remember when beans. we were dating, even when we were first married, we'd always have creamer. Have our coffee together. You do creamer too. And then when you switched over, it's almost like you just like thought you were better than me. You're just like, you know what? Lacey, I don't do creamer anymore. I'm done. <laughs> I've, I've matured. I am past this season. And you. <laughs> this is the thing. I'm just I think a lot of but it But seriously too. though, it kind of broke my heart. <laughs> I think, I think <laughs> honestly though, like dairy doesn't do good with me first yeah. thing in the morning. Like creamer. Right. Any that kind of stuff. Half and half. Milk. Anything. Like a latte, I can do, but it needs to be later in the day. Mm-hmm. And so I think that's a, I don't, a huge I couldn't reason. I do that much in the morning. But like I a just think either. it just takes away from the taste. I just love to taste the coffee, and I mm-hmm. love the taste. It is an acquired Espresso. taste. I get mm-hmm. all that. I understand that. So, I, and I get though that those of you who like creamer, it tastes really good. Mm-hmm. I get it. And but you have so I'm many also I come back to the thing. I'm like, but it's called coffee seasons. for a reason. So yeah. But a lot of people, that's the thing. A lot of people can have the coffee and creamer, but they appreciate both of them. There's only people that ju- only can drink coffee with creamer. Yeah. And I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> is it really, are you really, do you really like coffee? Justin, like, do you you're really going down the road again. Like, <laughs> okay, let's we're, just, we're, let's we're done. get off. We can't do this anymore. <laughs> I apologize if I offended anybody. That's not my intention. Uh-huh. I just want to pose a question. Do you really like the taste of coffee? And if you don't, then you, then I guess you don't like coffee. You like creamer mm-hmm. and, and coffee. Would you say that about me? Yeah. Justin. I think I would. I think you like creamer. I don't, though. Why are we on this subject again? Because it's not. But, it's, w- <laughs> I like coffee. The, I love the taste of coffee. Yeah. And even if we get like new, stop shaking your head like that. I'm no, I'm great. I'm even great. when we get like new brews, like different kind of beans, uh-huh. like I'll try it black first. Be like, okay, like just yeah, to really true. like, yeah. But if I really think it enhances <laughs> it's it. It's the dumbest <laughs> conversation <laughs> ever. Oh my gosh. I don't even know how people are going to respond on this because for us, this is, <laughs> this, this is the stuff we talk about. We banter back and forth on this stuff. And you're always right. You always think you're right, at least. I so. mean, it's my opinion, so of course I'm right. <laughs> but it's, it's apparently not because I mean, I have a coffee lot of drinks other people, are. I'm sure that will agree with me. a massive business. You know, it's yeah. it's just what it is, and yeah. I know I'm not right. I know that I am wrong. Um, there's a small percentage of us true coffee people out there. Excuse me. I'm just saying though, there's a small percentage of people who just appreciate the blackness of the coffee. Okay. The espresso shots. Anyways, guys, we're going to end it here because we could probably keep going and nothing is going to anyway, be Anyway, I do want to know about the toilet paper situation though. <laughs> yes. Let us know your thoughts on that. I also want to know about the coffee situation. How many of you like drink it black? How many of you and, and I'm just I'm kidding. You guys, everyone loves coffee. Okay, we're all coffee drinkers, no matter how you take your coffee. Oh, gosh. Even if it's black or cream. <laughs> we're all friends here. Um, we all do. We all do. But I just, I'm just curious, though. Yeah. Like, do you, do you have to have your coffee with creamer, or do you have to, or do you, can you drink it black? Mm-hmm. And do you like it black? Just wondering. Just wondering. Okay. No. All right. That's it. Just want to know the pulse. Trying to be nice now. I'm, it's never been a thing where I'm mean mm-hmm. about it. Okay. Any hoozles. Yes. That was fun. <laughs> I'm going to get some more black coffee. On that note, let's go refill our coffee. I'm so bummed, though, because we don't have our coffee pot. It's yes. a Keurig, and I can't stand Keurigs. Hopefully, it'll be fixed this week. Like, Keurigs awesome. for us is like a late afternoon cup of coffee, just yeah. like a nice little punch in the gut kind of thing. It's not the morning. It's not the morning. It needs to be bold and rich and perfect in the morning. Yeah. Keurigs... I don't like them. 
Yeah. That's another opinion. That we could talk about that people may not agree. Yeah. But anyways, this candle that has been going since we've been talking is definitely filling the room. It it, it, it smells this so is why I, good. I just I just feel like the f- cozy fall relaxed yeah. kind of vibe right now. And it's because of that. It is it. And my black coffee. Okay. Anyway, I think it's time to close this. This was a lot of fun. It was fun. I think we might do another one of these. So Different I don't opinions. Know. Yeah, because I feel like yeah. They're just going to come. I was going to say, I know there was more and things were happening throughout we the week. And we I was sat jotting down, them down like yesterday thought, over pad thai, by the way. That was so oh, good. Oh, yeah. It was spicy, but it was good. It was actually pretty spicy. My lips were burning. Yeah. You can get different levels of spice, and he wanted the spicier one, and it accidentally yeah. gave that to me and my sister as well. So we were like, thanks. All of our lips were burning, but yeah. it was good. It was really good. Anyway, so we were, we were jotting these down yeah. yesterday, and I'm like, we, I think we can. So now that we're thinking about it, yeah. like, let's jot another list down, then yeah, we'll, we'll come back. It's fun. So let us know if you guys liked it. Also, if you guys are not following us on Instagram, it is at our Z roll. So please follow us there. We usually get on before we do podcasts and ask you guys questions. So that's really fun. Maybe we'll ask you guys questions for the next one of these. Yeah. But anyways, thank you so much for listening. We appreciate it. If you're listening on Apple Podcasts, we appreciate it if you gave us a review. Mm-hmm. Um, it just helps grow this podcast and we are definitely being more consistent as of late it feels good yeah 15 on our way to 20 let's do this thing Yay. boom all right we love you guys we appreciate you and we'll see you in the next one bye, bye.